Alright guys, I'm gonna give you um, a bit of an update on how long it takes after you um, mail in your documents. So let me look at the dates here to make sure I get them right for you. Um, so I had all my documents and everything prepared and ready to mail out on Sunday the 16th. So I went down to Staples and sent it out UPS Second Day Air, which cost me um, about 25 bucks, I think it was. And so, um, they, at the government, at the Phoenix location, the uh, lockbox there, uh, they received that, uh, in the morning, I think, uh, it was between 9 to 10-ish area, on Tuesday the 18th is when it was signed for. And today I got a text message and an email, because you can sign up for those, saying that they received it and gave me my case number. And today is Monday the 24th. Um, so, actually, it doesn't take all that long after they sign and receive it. So, for working days, since the government doesn't work weekends, uh, let's see, uh, after they sign it, so we won't count the first day on Tuesday when they got it. So, that's one, two, three. So, on the fourth day, I got a uh, fourth working day. Uh, that is when I got the email verifying that they got it and gave me my case number. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine days in total from when I went to Staples to receiving it. Um, definitely much faster than um, when I used Rapid Visa. Don't recommend their service at, at, at all. Um, so um, yeah, it doesn't take all that all that long after you have everything um, prepared. So that's just a little bit of an update about getting my wife here to the States. I know it's a bit of a long process and drawn out, unfortunately, as it is when you deal with the government. Uh, so that's just an update. So yeah, four days from they receive it to actually get your case number, um, how long it takes for them to do what they do with it now, um, whatever bumps in the road, I don't know yet. Um, so we'll see how it goes, but yeah, four days, not bad.